What's up guys, Cash back again with some interesting but not unexpected news from Crystal Dynamics who just announced they're officially developing a new Tomb Raider game and this understandably worries some players about how this could potentially affect the future of Marvel's Avengers and I'll break down my thoughts on why this doesn't spell the end for Avengers so let's just jump into it. So back in September it was announced that Crystal Dynamics would be co-developing a new Perfect Dark game and soon after they began shifting around personnel from Avengers over to Perfect Dark and I spoke with one of the lead developers about this process and he said that while some leads were being asked to transition from Avengers over to Perfect Dark they would continue to work on Avengers part time until a replacement could be hired and only then would they make the full transition over to the Perfect Dark team. And that's been proven to be true because they have been advertising job openings for multiple positions and have made recent additions to their team and now with the news of a new Tomb Raider game starting development they're beginning the process of hiring for that project as well. In the past we saw a lot of the original team for Avengers move on to other projects and during that time they were simply replaced by promoting someone in house and basically having that person perform the duties of their new role in addition to all of their previous responsibilities which is why questions about the game's long term future started because the dev team was shrinking. But that no longer seems to be the case and in recent interviews Brian the team's lead system designer has stated that the team is focused on identifying development needs in terms of resources and have made filling those needs effectively a priority going forward. Meaning that if they would be better off outsourcing for a specific task they will instead of adding it to other teams current workload. And if they need to hire new people to get the job done they assess how many people they'll need and communicate that to the team. So while I understand the uncertainty about the game's future most players are feeling right now because there hasn't been a major announcement about new content for this year and the first big update for the year basically just served to streamline the leveling up process for newer players. Seeing news that a studio that already seems stretched thin is beginning another project that would seem to pull even more resources from the Avengers game is discouraging. But if you listen to what they've said in recent weeks you'll know that development on Avengers isn't stalling and is in fact ramping up because they have been working on content they just haven't announced anything officially but we know from news leaks from Miller that Krizia Bajos has done work for the upcoming She-Hulk operation as well as narrative consultant Evan Narcisse making recent contributions for upcoming content and we just learned that Hawkeye's voice actor was recently in the booth doing voice work for future content. So active development for the game is clearly happening and the developers have stated that after the recent quality of life changes that came in the latest patch the focus is going going forward would be ensuring that whatever content is revealed on the roadmap is well within their means to deliver on because they don't want to repeat the mistakes of last year with things like patrol mode being announced and then being pulled because they decided it wasn't what they originally envisioned. So I just wanted to share my thoughts on this recent news with you guys and as always I want to hear your thoughts on the situation. Does this news make you worry even more about the future of Avengers or are you optimistic knowing development is ongoing and that they are hiring to replace anyone who's left for other projects? Let me know down below and make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to catch more Marvel's Avengers content every week. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.